Now we are going to discuss about the unit product cost and the absorption and variable costing methods. We will calculate the unit product cost and the absorption costing and another variable costing. The illustration is unit product cost computation to illustrate the computation of unit product cost under both absorption and variable costing. Consider ABC company, a small company that produces a single product. This is a company, the name is the ABC and it produces a single product. There is no more products, they are producing only a one product. And that has the following cost structure. They have different cost structure. They have uh, given the number of things. First, the number of units produced each year, they are producing the number of units each year, that is 6,000 units. There is no dollar sign. Look here, again, the units mentioned in single digits. There was no, no, no currencies there. It means we are talking about the units, right? If there is a currency, any currency is there, it means we are talking about the currency, right? So this is the unit. This is not our cost. Number of unit produced each year, 6,000, right? This is our units. Okay, variable cost per unit, right? There are three types of variable cost. Uh, number of variable cost is mentioned uh, here. The direct material, that is two two per unit if you are producing one unit so directly material cost that is encouraged that is two dollar direct labor that is four dollar okay variable manufacturing overhead that is one dollar and what about the variable selling and admin expense that is three dollar right okay now we have the per unit cost that is but variable in nature remember that all are the variable cost right okay fixed cost per year there are fixed cost is also mentioned but this is per year cost and that uh, is in total right look here the fixed manufacturing overhead that is fixed in total right fixed uh, cost per year that is in total right there is no per unit cost these two costs are not in per unit cost we will calculate this into per unit cost how i will tell you about it okay fixed cost per year fixed manufacturing overhead that is thirty thousand dollar fixed selling and admin expense that is ten thousand dollar okay now what is the requirement Requirement number one, that is compute the unit product cost and absorption costing. Okay, first we want to calculate the unit product cost under absorption costing method. And then we want to calculate the unit product cost under variable costing method. I have prepared the chart in, su in, some, in such a way that uh, you, you can compare these two together, right? Okay, in absorption costing, product cost, we have already discussed in our previous work that in absorption costing we take all the cost whether it is regardless of whether it is variable or it is fixed right so we will calculate or we will take the fixed portion of manufacturing overhead as well in absorption costing clear is it clear okay absorption costing the direct material cost yes we have taken that is dollar two okay i am uh, removing the per, uh, values from here so you can easily judge that value from where I've got it, right? Okay, the direct material, this is mentioned here, that is dollar two. Okay, I can take it from here and I paste it. Dollar two, what about direct labor? That is dollar four. Okay, I again take it from here and paste it in that column. Okay, variable manufacturing overhead, yes, we will take it the manufacturing cost of variable, that is dollar one, okay, two for one. 2, 4, 1, 6, and 7. What about fixed manufacturing overhead? We will not take selling and admin. We have already discussed the selling and admin, whether it is variable or just fixed. It's a part of what period cost, right? Here. So we will just take only fixed manufacturing overhead. Okay, 30,000. This, this is my total fixed manufacturing overhead. And the number of units produced each year, that is 6,000. So I will divide 30,000 divided by 6,000. So what I will get? 5, 6, 30. That is my uh, dollar 5, right? Or you can calculate or you can divide it by with your calculator as well, right? Okay. The units is not in the dollar sign, but the cost must be in the dollar sign. 
in any currency so what i got i got five dollar five fixed manufacturing overhead my fixed manufacturing or my fixed portion of manufacturing overhead that is dollar five in per unit cost so what is my per unit cost of uh, um, product cost under variable under absorption costing under absorption costing what is my product cost that is 12 you can calculate it how 2 4 1 and 5 2 plus 4 6 plus 1 7 and plus 5 that is 12 so unit product cost is dollar 12 right so what is my uh, unit product cost under absorption costing is dollar 12 is it clear i hope i is it clear to you okay now we will calculate the variable variable cost right variable product cost what is the variable product cost we will take direct material same as have we as we have taken already in absorption costing so here my direct material is dollar two what about my direct labor that is four okay again i have taken that okay what about my variable manufacturing i would take only the variable portion of a of variable manufacturing overhead right look here i am not considering the fixed manufacturing overhead here in this variable costing method right we will not consider the fixed manufacturing overhead in this we will not consider the fixed manufacturing overhead i'm repeating to three times that we will not consider the fixed manufacturing overhead in variable costing right this is the direct costing and we will not take the fixed manufacturing overhead here so what i got two four and one that is seven look here the unit product cost in the variable costing is greater than the absorption costing right why it's greater than the absorption costing obviously if i'm taking or i'm adding the fixed part of my overhead so it will become greater than this right so my absorption product cost on the basis of absorption my product cost is greater than my variable costing product cost right is that clear okay